welcome to the sixth version of the Savit plugin documentation. Let's start with basics. Choose any object that will contain Savit plugin script. You can see there are a few options that have to be set up. The script is divided into three parts internal stream settings, save and load configurations, and property explorer. Internal stream settings allow you to manage root directory name, default file extensions and more. This will set up your structure of streaming. You can also customize your oven path. If you enable this option, the main root path will be set to the game startup path. You can see the final path above. We don't need any customized path for now. If you want to replace loaded object, keep this option enabled. You can also manage after start actions. You can load game, load slots and more. Here you can edit any starting default slot. I will choose my oven for now. Stream type is an option that allows you to choose three different streams. Each stream is unique in its speed, structure and form. More about the stream types in the documentation. Next receivers can receive incoming messages from another saving scripts, for example to load or to save. Save and load configurations allow you to manage the form and the structure which will be saved or loaded. Now I am going to save just one specific object. So I chose specific object option. I'm going to create a basic cube with box collider. In the last line you can manage if the components or behaviors will be included as well. If you don't mind to save all available components, just enable identify components automatically. Do the same with behaviors. Otherwise, you can edit them in the list below or you can even choose a preset. Property Explorer allows you to explore all available properties and fields in any Unity component. Just write down a name of any component and check all available fields and variables of the component. Ok, so our script is ready. Now let's create some basic triggers to save and load our scene. I'm going to do this with UR buttons. Now, let's see what will happen. After I hit save, we can see the file has been successfully created with its new structure and form. Now, I am going to load the scene again. You can see everything is back. It can be easier. Ok, now let's create a bigger scene. 
I want to get more than one object, so I will choose Get Objects by Fact. I'm going to create a few more objects with different colors. The scene will be static, so the selected objects will be not destroyed or instantiated. Now let's see what will happen. Again, everything is the same as I saved a moment ago. Ok, but what about more slots? What about more than one saving slot? Yes, it's absolutely possible and very easy to do. Just create as many buttons as you want and attach the functions with slots. The function changes the default slot's name to the button's event name. So you can clearly edit the name of the selected slot. also able to use special additional called slot generator which will generate all available slots in selected directory. All you need is a completed UI panel and save its script with correct path. I'm going to create a basic slot generator UI scroll panel. Just follow the steps.
plugin has a great place in many games that use this plugin. We are very proud of it and I would like to introduce you one of the games which is still in the development, but the plugin is definitely there. The game is a type of horror and puzzle, very basic scene. Let's see what the plugin is capable of. Again, I am going to create basic UI buttons to save and load. As always, zombie and player's positions have been successfully saved and loaded, this is just a very basic information. There are many other games that use this plugin, like the Fallen Geeks, where the wall scene is streamed from one file, everything fits perfectly, or the game The Guard where all objects in the world are safe and loaded. I hope you understood everything and I wish you good luck to the future. Please contact me if you have any questions or issues. Thanks for your attention.